welcome to the reading chair. I'm Lorraine Day, children's book illustrator at Day Studio. In this series, I'll be reading a picture book from my collection, and I'll also be introducing new book releases at the beginning of each video. I hope you enjoy the story. Today's featured book is Teach the Beach, written by Don Walsh, illustrated by Lorraine Day. This book offers guidelines to safety while ocean swimming, written by a lifelong ocean lifeguard, Don Walsh. Now for today's story, The Adventures of Solo, The Big Dog, written by James Wader, illustrated by Lorraine Day. A part of all proceeds from the sale of The Adventures of Solo will be used to purchase body armor and safety equipment for canine officers. There are links in the description box for this video On a cold January day, Sheba, a German Shepherd police dog, gave birth to six adorable puppies. She was very proud of her new family and took good care of them to make sure they were safe and healthy. Sheba always made sure they were warm and that they ate all their food so they would grow up to be big and strong. It wasn't long until the puppies were running around, playing and tumbling with one another. They liked rolling in the grass and climbing on their mother while they played together in the yard. Sheba always smiled when the puppies would try to tackle her. She was amazed at how big they had grown in such a short time. Every day the puppies played with each other until they tired themselves out. Then they would snuggle with their mother and take long puppy naps. One day, as Sheba was watching them play, the biggest puppy, the one with the all-black face, ran up to her and asked, Am I a big dog? Sheba looked at him, smiled, and said, No, you are just a puppy. As the weeks went by, the puppies grew bigger, and they all started to get their sharp little puppy teeth. They loved to chew on their teething bones and sticks they found in the yard, and sometimes they even chewed on things they weren't supposed to. It was now March. The puppies were eight weeks old, and it was time for them to go to their new homes. One afternoon, a man stopped by and asked if he could see the puppies. As he was watching the puppies play with each other, he noticed that the biggest puppy was chewing on his bootlace. The man bent over and picked him up. He started to laugh as the playful puppy began licking his face. He looked at the puppy and said, giggling, Hi there, I'm Officer Dave. The puppy started to wag his tail. He knew he had just found his new home. As Officer Dave was putting a new collar on the puppy, he said, You need a name. What should I call you? He smiled at his new little friend and said, I know. I will call you Solo. Solo looked at his mother before he left and asked her again, Am I a big dog now? His mother replied with a smile, Not yet, but you will be one day. When Solo got to his new home, he found a lot of new toys to play with, but Dave laughed the most as Solo fought the biggest bone he could find. Then one day, while Solo was having fun playing with his toys, one of his puppy teeth fell out. Dave picked up the tooth and put it under Solo's pillow that night and said, let's see if you get anything for your tooth. When Solo woke up the next morning, he found that a biscuit, a little biscuit, had been left for him under his pillow. He was so excited, he started running around the house with the biscuit hanging from his mouth. Solo discovered that he was losing more and more of his puppy teeth 
and every time he would find a little treat under his pillow when he lost one. Solo grew bigger as the months went on, and every day when Dave got home from work, he spent time training Solo. Solo quickly learned how to sit, stay, lie down, and heal. One afternoon, while they were training in the yard, Dave knelt down and said to his partner, Soon you will become a police dog, just like your mother. Then one night it happened. Solo lost the last of his puppy teeth. He put the tooth under his pillow and went to bed, dreaming of getting another pup, little puppy treat. But when he woke up, he didn't find a treat under his pillow. Instead, he found a big bone. Solo sat confused and thought to himself, Why didn't I get a treat like I had gotten all the other times before? Then in an instant, he sat up tall, smiled, and barked out, I'm a big dog now. When Solo was 14 months old, he went to work with Dave for the first time. As Solo walked into the training yard, he noticed all the other dogs hard at work. They were climbing walls, crawling through tunnels, and some were even walking next to the police officer without, it, without any leashes. When the police dogs walked by, Solo yelled to them, Hi, I'm Solo. I'm a big dog. One of the dogs stopped and laughed then went up to Solo and said with a chuckle, No, you are just a puppy. Going to work with Dave became a daily routine for Solo, and it wasn't long before he was able to do all the things the other police dogs could do. After 16 weeks of hard training, Solo graduated the top dog in his class. Solo stood proud at the graduation ceremony as the captain put a new badge on his collar. He was now officially an officer of the sheriff's department. After the ceremony, Solo spotted the group of dogs he had met the very first day of training. All excited, Solo went up to them and said, I'm a big dog now. Again, one of the dogs walked up to Solo and this time snickered. No, you're just a rookie. Solo liked going to work every day and enjoyed riding in the police car with Dave. But Solo liked it best when they would get out of the car and walk around. This gave Solo a chance to walk by all the people on the street, especially the little kids whom he liked the best. Sometimes he would even go to the school and show the kids all the things he knew how to do. Officer Dave would give Solo a command and Solo would show the children what he had learned at his school. At night, Solo would come home from work, eat dinner, and lie down on his favorite pillow to fall asleep. Sometimes he would dream about when he was a puppy and how he would get into trouble for chewing on things. He always had toys to play with, but Solo would find himself chewing on something he wasn't supposed to. One time he got into trouble for chewing one of Dave's shoes and for chewing on the bottom of a chair, but that was when he was a puppy. Now he was a police dog. One fall afternoon while Dave and Solo were walking the streets, a call came over the police radio. There was an armed robbery in progress at the jewelry store in town. Solo and Dave rushed to the store as quickly as they could. But when they got there, they noticed that the burglar was already outside on the sidewalk. Just then, Solo saw two little girls coming out of the nearby candy store and knew they would be in danger. In an instant, Solo was running down the sidewalk towards the bad man. Solo knew he had to protect the two little girls, so without hesitation, he jumped in the air to tackle the robber. As Solo wrestled him to the ground, a gunshot was heard echoing in the crisp fall air. Dave quickly rushed over to help his partner as he held the burglar down. But when Dave got there, he noticed that Solo had been hurt. Dave picked up his partner and rushed him to the hospital. The doctors met Dave and the wounded Solo at the door. Together, they carried the brave officer into the operating room. After a couple of hours, the doctor came out of the operating room. She smiled and said that Solo would be okay. His body armor had saved his life. 
Dave let out a sigh of relief. He was happy to hear that his partner would be okay. After Solo recovered from his injury, there was an award ceremony for him. The town mayor and all of his fellow police officers were there cheering as they watched Solo being awarded the Medal of Valor for his bravery. As Solo stood there proudly with the medal around his neck, he could hear one of the other police dogs say, he really is the big dog.